Alright guys, so it has begun. I knew this was going to happen. It was only a matter of time before the Mexicans started noticing that for the Mexicans, for here in Mexico, this is an invasion. Right here. Because there's thousands coming in here. There's thousands just coming and passing by. They're not even, they're, they're not, they don't want to stay here. And the ones that do stay here are the, are the crackheads, are the people that really don't have any life really aren't really looking for a better opportunity because they know that they're going to fail trying to go to the United States. So they're like, ah, screw it, I'll stay right here. And most of them, yeah, they're gang members or, or people that are just lazy or people that just don't want to work, honestly. Some of them are going to work, and we're going to see that. We're going to see in the future those that do want to work and that should be right here in Mexico. You know what I mean? The ones that really do want to better themselves. We're going to see that. But until now, a lot of these guys are really pushing the limits, and the limits have been pushed to this point. Right here in Chiapas, the southern region, sorry, Mexicans have started gathering together to kick them out, send them back to Guatemala. And that's what happened in this video. Check it out. So right there, the immigration officer is trying to calm the crowd down because I can hear I can hear what they're saying. It's, it's bad words. They're they're coming off. They're coming on them very aggressive with sticks and some have weapons. <clears throat> There's another video I'm gonna show you guys right now. Just hold on. The INM officer, the immigration officer, is even scared because he knows that when when Mexicans are like that in a group, and they're over here protesting or rioting, oh, it, it gets down. If anyone tries to oppose that group right there, they're gonna get cracked in the head. So you know what, the INM said, you know what, these guys are coming. You know what, look back and said, just go, just get out of here. Because these guys mean business. Okay. I can't do that. Alright, so that's that video. They're saying fuera, fuera, a la, a la, you know, a la dick and all this, <laughs> all these other bad words. So <clears throat> it's not good. It's not good for them. It's good for us. Good for us because we can't have that many migrants coming to Mexico. That's a slap in our face. That's a slap in your guys' face too, because we we're trying to work hard for like some immigration stuff right here. But knowing that I'm gonna sign the UN Pact, the UN Global Migration Compact. Well, things are going to get very difficult. So it's up to the citizens. It's up to the citizens to do something about it now. It, it's coming close. I think I'm going to have to make that video where I speak on behalf of the Mexicans. Because, look, it's, it's what they want. They need a voice. We need to make another popular vote here in Mexico. One that the citizens... Okay, so I've been, I've been deciphering this video. I've watched it like 7, 12 times already because it's, it's pretty odd. And I've just found out by my own self that these are the migrants this is the migrants right here look how they have the rocks right there this is basically still a developing story guys so we're gonna see more videos today all right this is barely the, I'm, I'm uploading this uh, video right now at 4 40 it's gonna be like five in a couple couple minutes so this is a, a developing story okay we don't know if they really did get into a fight, we don't know if they really did get in a confrontation. We don't know if there was injured among Mexicans or Central Americans. We don't know yet. But I'll tell you what I do know. Shit is it the fan, folks. Our limits have been pushed, like I said in another video. That's it. If, if they fought or if they actually confronted the Mexicans, then it's, it's a wrap. Because if once, once, the, once the videos start going out, once it becomes viral... Once Mexicans start knowing, holy crap, they're coming in, and then they're forcing their way through with, with the Mexicans telling them, no, you guys got to go back. Oh, no, it's on now. It's on, baby. 
Because they can't just come like that. I'm, th I'm thinking in a Mexican perspective. They can't just come like that. And then we're trying to tell them, like, you know what, that's it. You guys can come here no more. And no, 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 we're still going to pass. Get in a fight with us. Hell no, that ain't going to happen, man. Here in China, hell no, that ain't going to happen. You know what? This is a good. This is a good thing. And this is a bad thing at the same time. Because violence is going to start out over there in the south. It always has in Mexico, right? But now in Mexican land with migrants. That's the crazy part. What is this UN Migration Compact going to do? It's going to try to suppress the Mexican people. I really don't hope... I really hope that doesn't happen. Because that happens... You're going to have an unpopular vote for AMLO. Matter, matter of fact, like I told you guys, we should have a Mexican vote again. So without further ado, I'm going to just play the video now. But... Right. So he said right there, I don't know if that was a bad word, but it got something. Todo mundo no nos puede hacer nada. He sounded Central American. He's basically saying, um, F it. You know, either way, they can't do nothing to us because of the migration compact. They got guns, Mexicans, bro. <laughs> These guys are. They're gonna F that, bro. <laughs> Another migrant said, No nos vamos a regresar. We're not gonna return. So I, I, I've been trying to just decipher this video. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these are the Central Americans or the Mexicans? I believe it's the Central Americans because of the key words that they're saying. We're gonna still continue this. This is the problem. These guys feel like if they're very, it's like if they're being defended by Mexico, they're being defended by the Migration Compact. Little do they know that this is Mexico. This is basically the wild, wild west. All right, someone could kill you here and get away with it. It doesn't matter if they're in a group like that. The only thing that the Mexican officials are gonna do is probably uh, hit martial law or uh, uh, start detaining sus suspects. But in reality, they're not gonna have evidence against them. Remember here, the justice system is very awkward. I could literally go out there, punch somebody, come back home. They can know where I live at, but they, they're going to need witnesses. And people here don't like to be witnesses. You know what I mean? Uh, that was just an example. I'm not saying, you know, that was just an example. So these guys that are over there across over there, they're bunched up, the Mexicans. If they shoot these guys, do you really think they're going to find those people that shot them? You know what I mean? So these are the Central Americans right here. I, that's that's my vote right here. These are the Central Americans. And then over there on the other side of the bridge, those are the Mexicans coming with palos, you know, sticks and weapons. These guys are grabbing bracks. It's what they normally do. Honestly, they normally do that here too. But since this is since this is like a big uh, big number of people, like Central American migrants, a huge number of, of people that, that are coming, well, it's honestly pretty pretty logical the Mexicans are going to grab arms to defend their country. Sounds something familiar? So this is this is what's happening right here. And like I said, it's a developing story. I really don't have the full details on this. I have a have a article that I'm going to read to you guys, but it's in Spanish. So you guys are going to have to bear with me, right? Here, I'll show you guys right now. All right, so I'm going to try to read it as fast as I can. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get better at this. Okay. So people with arms and sticks kicked out a group of about 2,500 migrants who were waiting or who were found waiting in the park called in the park in Ayutla, Guatemala. Uh, and that they also ingresaron, they also tried, uh, they came in through Garrita, port of entry, Suchate 1. Around, around the time of three, around four o'clock uh, in the afternoon, information spread that people with arms were kicking out the people that are, the immigrants that were waiting at the park who were waiting to start the process um, right there at the uh, Rodol Rodolfo Robles Bridge to start a process for their visitor's card for humanitarian reasons. Migrants who are looking for asylum in the United States will be returned to Mexico this Friday. So, um, and it was, un it was 
to the reporters, it has been understood that it was the people that kicked out the migrants, it was people that lived around that area in the park of Ruben Zuniga de Ayutla, who are just tired of watching these migrants on the street and causing a, muchos de ellos haciendo escándalos. It's kind of like I, I guess they're, they're they're being noisy out there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's that's right. They're being a lot, they're making a lot of noise. They're being um, well, how do you say it? They're being obnoxious. All right, look up that definition. They're being obnoxious, nasty, foul, loud, not caring about people sleeping, not caring about the streets, throwing trash, obnoxious. And that's why they decided to kick them out. Around. 1,500 migrants ran to the bridge of Rodolfo Robles to return to the port of entry Suchate 1, where they were, they, they were received, but given the fact that, of that, sorry, it also was understood that that, that area was at full capacity. Yeah, it was at full capacity, so they couldn't attend them. They're going to have to wait for another time. <laughs> sorry <laughs> that's crazy man <laughs> all right well one little note i wanted to add to this one little note as you can see it was it was just it was it was today bro it was just like a couple hours ago you know it was yesterday but yeah this is insane and it really isn't that insane because we all knew something like this was gonna happen if you guys didn't know i'm pretty sure the mexicans that watched this mexican americans that watched this knew something was gonna crack because for the Mexicans, this is an invasion. They're coming over here in the bunches, all right? We're not talking about 15 here, 20 there. We're talking about thousands. There's, not, there's nothing compared to the um, United States in the past, all right? So don't say, oh, now we feel the invasion. No, no, it's different, all right? You guys have been having a flow of migrants for years. This is different. They're coming in the, in the bunches, like in the thousands, and they still keep coming. So that's the problem. This is an invasion on both of us, um, Mexico and United States, because they want to go to you guys too. Just wanted to add that and my best of luck to these guys because <laughs> they're going to need it, buddy. I think they just caused the war with the Mexicans. Once these videos go viral, that these guys are trying to force themselves and fight the Mexicans to go to United States, not Mexico, they're going to get pissed. They're going to get real pissed. And they're going to fight back like they're fighting right now. Mark my words. In Veracruz, people are tired. In, in Ciudad Mexico, people are tired. Tijuana, people are super tired. Mexicali, people are tired of them. It's a wrap, guys. If they really, if, if, if another video, because this is a, this is a, I'm, ah, this is a growing story right here. You know, it is, it's, ah, what I'm trying to say is that there's going to be more videos about this, okay? Just. There's going to be more videos about that. I'm going to try to bring them to you guys like that. Catch you guys later.